Today we celebrate Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day. Nearly two years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, 250,000 enslaved persons in Galveston, Texas, finally received word that the Civil War was over, signaling that they were free. Juneteenth is a symbolic milestone on our journey toward a more perfect union and is the oldest known celebration commemorating the end of slavery in the United States. Today, we stand in the Ellicott City Colored School. Opened in 1880, this school fulfilled Maryland state law requiring counties to provide educational facilities for African American children. It operated until 1953 and now serves as a genealogical resource center and a museum highlighting the history of African Americans in Howard County. On this 155th Juneteenth celebration, it's important to hear and learn from some of Howard County's most influential voices, those who have spent their lives working toward a more inclusive community for all. Let's hear from some community members and pioneers as they reflect on this country's other Independence Day. Juneteenth is a holiday that I think should be more recognized than it is because it's precious to the black community. That's a community that I care about very much. Uh, it's a second Freedom Day for, for Americans. I feel like our first Freedom Day was when America was released from Britain and second day, which is Juneteenth, was when slaves were finally liberated and freed from their masters. First and foremost, to me, Juneteenth represents just how much slavery has been misconstrued and freedom has been delayed and withheld from black people going all the way back to when we were allegedly freed. And I think that it's important for us to celebrate Juneteenth because it's a call to action for America to finally sit with and acknowledge their legacy and their history of slavery and the impact that it continues to have. Uh, Juneteenth is a reminder to African Americans the distance from which we have come. And it also causes us to pause and think about all that has happened over those number of years. You know, when General, Major General Granger rode into Galveston on June 19th, 1865, he told the slaves they were free. They learned they were free, but they were not free because they went on to continue to serve in the role of slaves. But at least they knew that if they want to really be free, they now had an opportunity to fight for it. And as African Americans, we've seen that while we've come a long way, we still have a long way to go. So there's two things for me. There's the actual uh, idea of what Juneteenth is, right? So the, the, the final um, freeing and acknowledgement of my ancestors. Um, and then there's a symbolization, right? So there is um, this idea that people who look like me and come from a background like me uh, fought for this far-fetched idea of freedom. Um, and so whatever it is that I have a vision for or I think is possible is possible, right? Like I, I stand on the shoulders of giants. Juneteenth is an important date in American history, a date that all Americans should, uh, should embrace. It ends an institution that um, for the first uh, 80 years of, United, of the United States was a, um, a brutal system that has a legacy that we're still dealing with today. Juneteenth um, should be celebrated and should be um, acknowledged in every United States history book. I think it's important to celebrate Juneteenth because it represents almost like a milestone on our path to freedom from oppression. Um, and this holiday, like a lot of our history, was never taught to me in public education. And as much as this false narrative of the history of our country is pushed on us, we will not forget that it took two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation for the enslaved to be free from chattel slavery. We will not forget that Black people built this country, and we surely will not close our eyes 
to the ways that slavery has reformed itself into new systems of oppression. It's important that we remember our history for those who fail to remember the history are doomed to repeat it. We think of Harriet Tubman High School here as our Juneteenth because there were many things that we didn't get that other schools got. There was our saying, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, you're a model of a school. Harriet Tubman, we love to dream of you. So for us, it is important that we remember our history. September 18, 2021, the doors here at Harriet Tubman Building will be open for the entire community. It will be called the Harriet Tubman Community and Culture Center, where we will be able to learn about our rich history as it relates to blacks here in Howard County. My grandparents came from Ireland and Scotland, and St. Patrick's Day gets a lot more attention than Juneteenth does, and there's a fraction of people in America that can relate to St. Patrick's Day, where there's an entire community that cares very much about Juneteenth. I think it's important we celebrate Juneteenth because as Americans we need to know our not only our Eurocentric history but also our history as black people, as allies. So I think that Juneteenth is the perfect holiday to really celebrate that and um, get recognition for getting freed. And I think that until we can trace back the roots and unearth all of the injustice and inequality where slavery has taken on a new form and also debunk all of these myths and false truths that have been watered down and sugarcoated to make slavery look like it is a thing of the past when it's absolutely not. I think that it is important for us to continue the fight and challenge the misinformation and the miseducation in order to continue to dismantle these systems that would rather see us waiting for our freedom, just like our ancestors had to wait to be freed after months when they were allegedly emancipated. I think in terms of national recognition, uh, I think that's super important. Um, I think that if it is something that we as a nation feel like is a priority to us and is important to us, we need to recognize it as such. People, more and more people are becoming aware, especially white citizens are becoming aware that the condition, the situation of African Americans is something that requires urgent attention. And I'm very pleased to see the young people out protesting and doing what they are doing. And I encourage them to continue their protests, continue their determination because Things will happen. I happen to be a person who, I participated in sit-ins when I was in college. I picked it at the movie theater when I was in college because it would not serve African Americans. I marched on Washington 18, in 1963 with Dr. King for jobs and freedom. And I know that some major gains came out of that. And I look for major gains to be coming out of this uh, protest that young people are now engaged. Although traditional Juneteenth celebrations are affected by the current COVID-19 pandemic, we still gather to recognize and commemorate this important day in our history. While we have made progress over the last 155 years, we still have some ways to go to ensure every resident and member of our community is free and safe to live their best lives. As President Barack Obama once noted, Juneteenth has never been a celebration of victory or an acceptance of the way things are. Instead, it's a celebration of progress. It's an affirmation that despite the most painful parts of our history, things do get better. America can change.